Hi guys, uh, again starting from index of Moscow exchange, as you can see that we continue falling uh, starting from 14th of August and uh, the main reasons are the elections in Belarus and uh, uh, poisoning of Mr. Navalny, opposition leader in Russia and uh, right now index is still falling because from my point of view and uh, from information of different uh, brokers and banks, uh, foreign investors uh, decided to leave the country, decided to leave the Russian market because there are too much risks uh, connected with the sanctions against Russia and against Russian rubble. Um, but same you can see with the S&P that 3rd of September uh, it started to fall also. And it could be one of the reasons why uh, Russian invest uh, why investors are leaving the Russian market also, because when S and P is starting to fall, uh, a lot of uh, invest uh, investors uh, and uh, uh, different invest funds are leaving emerging markets, and especially the markets that are totally dependent from energy resources from oil and gas like Russia and uh, in this case let's see what's going on with Russian rubles and uh, Russian rubble and uh, US dollar uh, for example we can see that it was the level of 76 and after it, it's after test of this level, we fell down again. Maybe it was connected with the actions of Russian Central Bank. Uh, and they continue to support Russian rubble. They will be touched like 76 and 50. And after it, again, we uh, below the level of 75, 50. It could be level like here from 73 until 75 and 60 is level for the next week in case if we will not have any uh, interesting news. One of the news of course is uh, a meeting of a press conference of Russian Central Bank 18th of September uh, where uh, Central Bank will decide about the uh, rate for the interest rate for the next period. Right now it's 4.25 and there are some uh, forecasts that it will continue to be decreased. In this case a lot of carry trade investors will leave Russian rubble also, Russian market. And in this case we uh, can uh, lost uh, strength of Russian rubble for example 76 77 we can try this area and uh, also if possible yes and in this case um, after the decision of uh, central bank we can test we can test new areas uh, another situation that is influencing on russian rubble is uh, price of the oil brand oil and you see it start to fall down after 46 it's 39, maybe connected with the strength of the US dollar, um, maybe something else like Saudi Arabia decided to make a discount for the September and October uh, deliveries of oil and it could be one of the reasons. Uh, that's why pressure on Russian rubble will still continue. I'm not in position, I exit, uh, exited before when it was 74.8, it was nice profit, a few percent but uh, euro uh, right now i'm in position with euro and i bought it around 89 and 50. right now i'm losing i bought these futures for december uh, and of 2020 and i think that we can have like 99 for these futures in case of any significant news not positive for russia yes it could be 94 it's from my point of view, it's real, but I'm waiting for 99 of your moment. I have just 
not so much contracts because it's for the long term. Um, what else was interesting on the on the previous week is global trends uh, start to grow uh, directly after this dividend gap. And as we know, it's very interesting uh, share because they have around 16, 16% of annual dividend and it's in US dollar. It's really interesting for Russian market, for Russian company that is listed in uh, London exchange and uh, the next uh, factor trigger that is influencing on the price of this share is that they're planning to make a listing on Moscow exchange also because right now they listed in London only and uh, I think that it can give um, us around seven seven uh, like eight dollars per one share and my uh, take profit is here it's like eight eight fifteen I think I made it it's really interesting for Luke oil I'm in position right now also from uh, four thousand eight hundred fifty. I have no stop loss. I think I, it's not a problem for me. I can wait until 5,500, maybe 400 I will sell already. Uh, the problem is here with so with nifty gas. This falling it's again in this falling trend, you see. Uh, it's broke the limit uh, of uh, like this area of support and resistance 37. And I'm in position from 38 for these futures, from 38.500 from here, <laughs> and I already lost a lot. It's really uh, a long time. And the problem for me uh, is that here, yeah, 10% I lost already. Not so good, but okay. Uh, I'm waiting anyway that it will grow. The problem is that uh, the expiration of the September futures is 17th of uh, September, and in this case, I'll move to December futures, I think, and wait. Anyway, I will wait my 40 rubles for one share because uh, I believe in this company. Financial sector is also following the index of Moscow exchange. And the Russian rubble cross rate uh, is their bank. You can see that they uh, falling again. And here we have uh, this with strong resistance level. I think it will not be so easy to pass through it because all the news about dividends are already published and the market already traded all this news. And uh, what's going on with BTV? It will be also falling, but I'm not interested in this company. Gold, yes, because the US dollar became stronger. Gold lost a bit from 7th of August. And right now, here we can see like uh, 1900s. We can see that this level of uh, resistance is also strong, and we have a chances to to 2000, 2100 uh, and I, in, I'm trading with this share of Petropavlovsk I am still thinking that it's a growing trend we can have 50 until the end of the year maybe but my goal is uh, 39 right now I already make, made one circle I bought it at 31 and sold it I think 35 or 36 and right now again I'm in position from, from 35 rubles. I'm waiting when price of uh, gold will grow. Petro Powers also can do it again. Beyond is losing a lot. It's a Russian mobile operator. It's like a, a mobile telesystem MTS. But it's falling down. I'm in position, like, you know, it's not so big position, but you see this gap, 171, we can revert here to close the gap, I'm sure. Um, another situation is Palladium. Globally in Palladium, I'm 
I don't have profit, I have loss. First time I bought it 2,500 and it was stop loss 2,200. I lost like uh, 300 bucks. It's just my first futures, just one. Uh, and right now I'm in position from 2,300. It was like, you see, 2,400, but I didn't sell. I'm still waiting for 2,800. And uh, in this case, I will be in profit. But the situation the same is same like with the uh, Sogut Nertigas futures because 17th of uh, September, these futures will expire and I will um, sell it and buy the new one for December futures. Uh, Nornikil, I bought December futures already. The price was same like 19,500. Uh, uh, I mean, 19,500 for one share and for the futures also. And my goal here is uh, 210 for one contract. And uh, I'm still believing it. The situation with Nornikil is not so easy right now because uh, Russian authorities after this spill, they wanted so much money, like 2 billion US dollars, and they told that uh, if uh, Northern Kill will not pay right now, they will judge this company and they made it last week. Uh, they told that they wrote uh, application to the court and right now we are waiting for the court decision. But Russian authorities are really friendly with such kind of companies where oligarchs are the owners and that's why there are not, not so many chances of uh, Russian authorities to receive so much money as they want. Uh, Gazprom is falling together with IMOX index and on the news with Mr. Navalny and uh, Ms. Merkel uh, from Germany, she's telling, well, we will close the Nord Stream 2. We don't want to cooperate with Russia due to this poisoning of Mr. Navalny. And it's one of the reasons, maybe 163 is interesting to take um, gas from because right now we still for the natural gas gas uh, price is not so high if we will see the monthly time frame it just started to grow as you can see and uh, there are a lot of chances to receive i don't know 50 percent within a year and uh, for gas from also it's really it could be really interesting uh, today it's 160 and uh, to sell it 200, 240. Um, I'll, I will wait for 163. Um, who else is interesting? This is interesting. Yandex start to fall down after the historical hates. Maybe it connected with the stop of uh, purchasing from invest funds who were buying a lot and uh, of IT companies. And the index start to fall down. Maybe the reason is the earnings that will come soon within one month in October. Uh, another situation with the Mailru, it's also falling. And uh, I bought this one from, from London Exchange in US dollars and uh, I bought it at 30, uh, 30.5. And uh, I'm still waiting for, but it's my long term investment. I would take profit at 300 <laughs> US dollars. I'm ready to wait five years. I think if it will be even 100, I'll sell it. Also interesting. Uh, another interesting news were about El Rosa, it's a diamond producer. They start to grow. You see this growing trend. The reason was uh, the forecast of the earnings for August and for September. Many investors are waiting that it will be positive news and positive uh, growth trend from the Rosa because demand of diamonds uh, started to grow in August and September. It's, uh, also, it's demand is coming from jewelry and uh, coming from different industries who are using diamonds and it's uh, really interesting news and I think that it's possible 
to move here to 76, of course, and after it we can test this level of 85. Uh, it could be interesting on this positive news. I didn't bought it for 50, when it was 50. I'm not trading with Elo or Suggest for your information. Well, uh, I think that's it for the coming week. I wish you a lot of profit and uh, all the best. Bye.